Electronics in IT What shapes the modern life? A proof of the power of human imagination that accepts no boundaries. These small little chips with structures as fine as a hair strand form the building unit of giant machines and equipment. It's like magic. Today, we cannot imagine ourselves without electronics and IT. Today, we cannot imagine a good economy without a good investment in IT. And in its first 100 days, the new government of India has taken definitive steps for progress in this sector. Departments of Electronics and IT and Telecom strive together for a better India through a new digital revolution. Together, we will build a digital India. E-governance, easy governance, effective governance है और economical governance है और इसलिए हमारा सपना है digital India. जब मैं digital India कहता हूँ तब ये बड़े लोगों की बात नहीं है, ये गरीब के लिए है. Digital India, a program to transform India into a digitally empowered society and knowledge economy. Transformation begins in three core areas. Digital infrastructure development. Good governance. Digital empowerment of citizens. We present Digital India. The government has envisioned a Digital India program to support the nine pillars of growth areas. Broadband highways. Universal access to mobile connectivity. Public internet access program. E-governance. E-kranti, electronic delivery of services. Information for all. Electronics manufacturing. IT for jobs. Early harvest programs. Aiming to generate employment opportunities, the government plans to set up BPOs in the northeast region and smaller cities. To connect lost children with their anxious parents, the government has approved an online national portal for the lost and found. Broadband infrastructure is the foundation of digital India. India is sitting at the cusp of a big IT revolution. India is sitting at the banks of a big digital revolution. Or national optical fiber network is a very big deal. National optical fiber network. The government has planned to reach out to all Gram Panchayats and empower them with a robust broadband network. This effort will help connect millions of people with various aspects of human life digitally. Now, education has no boundaries. The Honourable Prime Minister has launched National Digital Literacy Mission, an ambitious endeavour that a person in each household should be digitally literate. Achieve limitless access to medical facilities. E-commerce for all. Community Wi-Fi services. E-services, uh, for instance, your uh, birth certificate, your caste certificate, your land records, all these needs to be digitized. This is how we propose to work. E-Kranti, through e-governance, we are taking steps to deliver 
maximum number of government services through the internet. No long queues, only a few clicks. Mission mode projects shall focus on process transformation, leverage latest technologies and a more integrated approach to deliver more citizen-centric services. The Honourable Prime Minister of India has launched MyGov. MyGov is the world's largest citizen engagement platform. Through MyGov, the government believes in interacting with citizens, promoting crowdsourcing and involving citizens in discussing, doing and disseminating. For example, citizens contributed to the logo and name for the Pradhan Mantri Janadhan Yojana. सामान्य मानवी के लिए सरकार उसकी हथेली में होनी चाहिए यह हमारा सपना है सरकार दिल्ली में न हो सरकार रांची में न हो सरकार हिंदुस्तान के नागरिक की हथेली में हो यह काम है डिजिटल इंडिया का द गवर्नमेंट इज प्लानिंग टू कनेक्ट ऑल द अनकवर्ड विलेजेस अक्रॉस द कंट्री इन अ फेज्ड मैनर इन द नेक्स्ट 5 इयर्स The government is determined to reach the people in the farthest areas of the country affected by left-wing extremism. The government is taking steps to deliver maximum number of public services through mobile devices across the country. Bringing everyone closer is not just a dream. We are working to make it a reality. मैं आज लाल किले की प्राचीर से विश्व भर में लोगों से कहना चाहता हूं कम मेक इन इंडिया ए बिग रेवोल्यूशन इज वेटिंग टू हैपन इन द फील्ड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मैन्युफैक्चरिंग आज पूरा इन्वर्टेड ड्यू टू स्ट्रक्चर स्टेटमेंट अप हो गया है द न्यू गवर्नमेंट इज टेकिंग बिग स्टेप्स टू प्रमोट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड आईटी हार्डवेयर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग वी आर कमिटेड टू प्रोवाइड एन एनवायरमेंट that facilitates indigenous electronic manufacturing it services and software development in india new investment proposals in electronics manufacturing to the extent of nearly 1860 crores the first 100 days have been a giant leap for the country into a prosperous future we have to make india the hub of electronics and digital technology in the world the new government is working day and night to ensure that the momentum built up in the first 100 days continues vision has no limits imagination has no limits neither do we 100 days of good governance